Good afternoon, everybody. What's going on with y'all? Uh, yeah, I know first thing first, man. Um, let me know that you can hear me. Let me know that you can see me. And we can get right into it. <clears throat> Let me know you can hear me. Just let me know you can see me. And uh, we get into it. And you're probably hearing my voice and see it in my face with this story. I just don't know. I I, I, I I just don't know. Cause at this point now I'm disappointed and I'm upset. And I'm gonna to explain to you why in a minute. I'm just sharing it out to a few people real quick. And then I'm gonna explain to y'all what's going on here. One thing I want people to understand. I love children. God knows I do. I love them. But when you feel or even know in your heart that something ain't right, or a child has done something wrong, or even if they caused a lot of chaos and getting other people in trouble, then I think it's on a that you call that out too. I'm not trying to say the child is a bad child, but children do make mistakes. And I think we all can agree with that. I don't know if Sandy is in the building. But Sandy, if you is, if you are in the chat room, I want you to tell the people this. Me and you talked this morning. You sent me this update. Me and you talked this morning. I was at work. And you could tell them if I'm telling the truth or not. I was so upset that I damn near cried when I got this update. I couldn't even concentrate on work. Because something about this story, it's not adding up to me. It's not. Okay? I don't know if the truth is being told or somebody's lying or somebody making up stuff. Okay? But one thing we know for sure that the guy we're going to be talking about right now, we know there for a fact He's a pedo. He's a he's a pedo. All right. He's an asshole. He's a dick. And he should get everything he got coming to him. He do. All right. So I'm not gonna negate that. He need to get it. Cause there's no reason this grown ass man <clears throat> should have been around this baby at all. No reason at all. Then on top of that, you stand with your folks and you're doing this shit. And y'all can hear the trembling in my voice because I'm trying to keep my emotion in check. I am. I am. But I'm telling y'all, something's not sitting right with me with this story. And it's not coming out right. The detail just not adding up to me. Okay? It just not. What were you finna hear now, guys? Y'all remember when I first did this story? They said, the grandma said, or whoever said, the first time this baby did this was on July the 9th. Doing more research, this baby been leaving with this man ever since July the 3rd. Do you hear me? This shit been going on between this man and this baby since July the 3rd. 
And y'all going to hear this. So somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's hiding something or somebody straight up lying. I don't know who it is, if it's the grandma or is it the baby. I don't know who it is. But if you're going to put this out here and have this man get prosecuted for what he done, then somebody needs to tell the truth, the whole truth, and don't hold back anything. Tell the whole truth. Also, we finna here now. The wrist, on, the, the the scars on her wrist. In this story, we finna here. This man bowed and tied her. I'm even questioning that now, and I'm gonna tell you why. But you know what? To keep my feelings in check right now, I'm finna let y'all hear this news clip, okay? And again. I, I got to calm down. I, I really do. <clears throat> I got to calm down. I hate it. And then on top of that, what's bothering, even, even, what's bothering me even more, you got other men who got caught up in this shit that had nothing to do with it. I don't give a damn what color they are. Innocent people is getting brought up in this that had nothing to do with it. And that's what's making me upset too. You got innocent people that's getting caught up in this that had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. And I don't like that either. I don't. But I'm finna pull this up and let y'all hear this. And I'm trying my best to try to break this down, man, where y'all gonna understand where I'm coming from. All right? Girl from her home in Missouri City. Fox 26's Domily Keith has been following the story and joins us live tonight with an update. Domily. Yeah, 27-year-old Jose Paniagua is charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child under 14. According to court records, Paniagua bound the 11-year-old by the wrist and forced himself upon her several times after meeting her online earlier this month. So for the parents watching out there, if your kid is 13 years old or younger, no social media whatsoever. That's the recommendation from tech experts like Juan Guevara Torres because it was in the chat. Have I been preaching there for the longest? Have I been preaching there for the longest? Their age that their baby is and on up like that, no social media, period. I'm glad, I'm not saying that he listened to me, but I'm glad that I'm not the only one who's been saying that. I mean, a lot of y'all in the chat room been saying it too. But to hear a person in a position that he in to say this, now, that made me feel a little better, but still not much. But I've been saying that for the longest. This baby should not have been on, on the internet, period, or on Discord. You know what I'm saying? So who, whoever supposed to be monitoring to her while she was online, they, they, they dropped the ball on that, you know? So she got a hold of Discord and talking to these people. But you're to hear now, we're going to go in deeper as to how all this stuff got unraveled. All right, just listen app Discord, where the 11-year-old victim is said to have met accused sexual predator, 27-year-old Jose Paniagua, who is actually on probation in a different county for online solicitation of a minor. According to court so, records, the 11-year-old first thought she His asshole right here was on probation already for doing this bullshit. He was already on probation. That's why I say with him, it's forever fuck him, all right? And I'm pretty much sure all y'all going to agree with me when I say that for him. Get his ass. Fuck him. Fuck him for life. All right? Fuck him. You're on probation. You still doing the same damn shit. You nasty son of a bitch. The same damn shit. But let's let's continue. Keep on listening. She was talking and meeting up with a 13-year-old boy. Those court documents say on July 9th at Paniagua's Houston apartment, the 11-year-old was forced to have intercourse multiple times and her hands were bound with a leather belt. Also, according to those legal records, Paniagua took the 11-year-old to his apartment several times beginning July 3rd after meeting the 11-year-old Beginning when? Line, and Paniagua told investigators... Beginning when? Did y'all hear that? Beginning when? So where did July the ninth come from? Y 
I just heard that. This didn't start on July the 9th. This started back on July the 3rd. And he been come getting this girl. So what am I missing? Or what have I missed? Or what is this story missing? And I hope y'all follow me so far. What, what is going on with this story? Why every time we read this story now, it's conflicting shit going on with it? So I understand why I'm disappointed and I'm upset because I, I don't like how this is going. I don't. He first thought the little girl was a 22-year-old woman. When you're 13 and below, you are very trusting and you're developing I agree. a lot of uh, the street I agree. smarts. That's why Torres says there are no family-friendly social media sites when it comes to kids 13 and under. Nobody on the 13 should be with any access on social media Thank or you. any communication site Thank you. whatsoever. It doesn't matter what it is. The Thank you. of parents not monitoring their kids' devices could be fatal. Now, fortunately, the 11-year-old was found on Friday and returned to her grandmother. According to court records, the little girl was found hiding in Paniagua's attic above his bedroom. Now, Paniagua has not had a bond set for him yet. He is expected to be in court tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News. So, y'all heard that, right? And I will play it again later. My 20 vision. Because it's going to be new people coming in and they want to know what's going on. So y'all heard that, right? I agree with everything that he said right there. And I, be, I mean, I've been preaching that for the longest. I have. So I want y'all to understand when I'm hearing this, this is why I'm, I'm disappointed and I'm upset. Somebody is lying. Somebody's not telling the whole truth. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay? I, I really don't. Now, I understand a lot of people saying about her being 11, you know, you shouldn't uh, criticize her, you know, just pray for her and uh, this, thing and the third. And I understand that. I do. But the more you hear this story, it's leaving you with more questions than answers. Okay? It's leaving you with more questions than answers. So let's try to analyze this a little bit. So when the story first came out, July the 9th, it's what the grandma said. Whoever put the story out said she'd done this before. But now we're hearing this now, baby. This was way before July the 9th. This man, they just said this man been picking up this girl several times starting on July the 3rd. On July the 3rd. Okay? I want y'all to follow me. We just heard he picked up this girl several times starting July the 3rd. So if this has been starting July the 3rd, she said she thought she'd meeting up somebody who's 13 years old. After hearing this, I don't know if I quite believe it or not. I don't. He claiming he thought he would meet somebody that's 20 some years old. I sure in the hell don't believe him. Because you're on probation for the same shit. You knew exactly what you was doing. And this baby probably did tell you her real age, but you didn't give a damn. And you may have said some things to her, like, they, like the man just said, you know, that she was easily manipulated by you or whatnot. But it doesn't negate the fact, though, that this baby knew how old you were. After that first time she met you, she knew how old you were. But see, let's go any deeper. Because if you've been picking her up since July the 3rd, that means your dumb ass been bringing this girl right back home. You be picking her up and bringing her right back home. So when they say she's been bound and tied and all that, it's kind of hard for me to believe that. Because if you've been picking her up all this time, how the hell has she been getting back home? Somebody follow me. Y'all just follow me. What, what, just Y'all just follow me. It's not making any sense. If he's been picking her up since July the 3rd, then that means he's been bringing her home. From July the 3rd to the 9th, that's six days. Then up to now that the story hit on the 22nd, 
I don't know how many days it is. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. From the sixth to the ninth. Oh, excuse, no, excuse me. For the third to the ninth, that's six days. From the ninth to the twenty second, where this post head hit. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's thirteen more days added. Thirteen more days added. Okay, now on July the night, the story that we got, the grandma says she tracked her down by her cellular phone. But see, that's even leaving a puzzle on my head. Where did you track her at? And when she came on missing this time, and you find out she was missing, did you go back to that same spot? Now, I don't know if any of y'all can help me out with this because it's not adding up to me. It's not. It's not adding up to me. Sam, you said she was terrified and tell her grandma. You know what? I can agree with you when you say that. I can agree with you to an point when you say that. But see, here's my thing right here. I want you to follow me when I say this right here. So if this baby got scars on her wrist, if she got scars on her wrist, it makes me wonder did grandma question her about that and there should have been an opportunity for the baby to tell her that right there. You know, um, where the scars come from if she was terrified. She should have told her right then and there. These came from this man been tying me up. But then again, I get it. Maybe grandma did ask her and maybe she lied about it. I don't know. I don't know. But here's the thing, though. From July the 3rd to the 9th? And you kept leaving with this man? And apparently he kept bringing you home. Leave it to be, but I was just finna say that. You took the word right out of my mouth. I was just finna get on their necks. For the people who saying she don't know what she doing, well, I'm, I'm gonna say this right here. 11 years old, yes, that's a young age, and that's an age that she can't consent. I get that, and I agree with that. But just because she's 11 does not mean she dumb. Goody, a lot of people are saying that. They think her grandma was pimping her. I don't know. I don't know. But let me get to what I'm saying right here. Just because she 11 does not mean she dumb. Okay? I just seen a lot of kids her age are smart as crap. They smart as crap. But it does not mean she's dumb. All right? The key word here is sneaking. If I have a son or a daughter and it's bedtime and they say, hey, daddy, I want to get a cookie and this, that, and then I told them, no, you can't have no cookie. You wait till you get home tomorrow, you get a cookie for a nap. In the middle of the night, my son or daughter get up and went in the refrigerator because they snuck and got up in there because they thought I was asleep. Why do you think they sneaking and doing it? Because they know they're not supposed to have it. So what they doing is waiting to me and the mama sleep and go sneak in the kitchen and grab that cookie. They sneaking because they know they was not supposed to have it. So use that same logic here and think she kept sneaking out to be with this man. Well, at least that's how the story is being told. 
The grandma is saying that she got out the first time, I guess we was was around in July the night, and she tied sheets together and she climbed out the window and left with this guy. Or this time around where hide her head point. No, it was that time around. Cause she said this time around, the baby opened the door, the alarm went off, and she told her that I'm just checking the door and make sure the door is locked. But she got up and she was gone. So, really, can we say that she's terrified? She keep going back to him. Can we honestly say that she's that terrified that she keep going back to this man? And as hard as it is for me to say all this that I'm saying. It's hard. And I'm trying to keep my emotions in check. I am. But it, it's hard too because, again, you have to call what you see. You have to call what you hear. All right? And what I'm hearing is not making any sense at all. Because if he did all that tied and bound her, all right, first of all, you got to ask the question, why are you letting her go back home? A lot of kidnappers out of this story, on, they don't let them go back home. They end up getting found. All the stories I've been covering since I've been in the true crime community, com community, Jesus. Y'all know I'm all off now. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. In the true crime community and speaking on children, I had never known somebody who'd been kidnapped that the kidnapper let them go back home. I ain't never known him to do that because the goal is for them not to get caught. All right. And see with him, he a dumbass because he on probation and you doing this shit again. You doing it. You doing this shit again. Allowing this baby to go back home after you done did God knows what to her or with her. Now somebody said she could be brainwashed. Possibly, possibly, but I'm not even feeling that either though. I'm not. But Sandy did bring this to my attention and I didn't think about this. She brought this to my attention. You know how he got caught? The security guard. If it weren't for that security guard, this shit probably still be going on. But thank God for that security guard. He saw that. And he saw someone was off and got his bitch ass caught. That's how he got caught. If the security guard never saw him, If the security guard never saw him looking for that baby in that truck, this man would have never got caught and he would have still been doing this stuff and that baby still would be sneaking out the house. And see, and this was hurting me now because her dad ain't around. Because I guarantee if her dad was around, he would have shut that shit down. That boy would have had his ass whooped. That man would have had his ass whooped, well whooped. So on that note, I hate her dad ain't around. And he ain't there to save her.
Goody 2020 said him being on probation is what makes me think there was an agreement between him and the grandmother, or is he really that stupid? Goody, that's a dude. I'm telling or oh, ma'am, whoever you are, if whatever you are, I guaranteed you go to Facebook and type in this baby name. You're going to see a lot of people saying the same thing that you saying may not be the word verbatim, but they saying the same thing that you saying. They pretty much saying the same thing that I'm saying that this story is not adding up and something has been going on between mm -hmm. him and this baby. Well, ma'am, you just sent me a voice. So I can't play it anyway. Cause if I, if I play it on air, it's going to play your voice, but I'll play it when I get offline. Okay. But I, I see it come across my screen. I'm sure you hear the, the thing pinging, but, uh, I'll play it when I get offline. Okay. But, uh, anybody sending me information while live on this, I appreciate y'all and I'll get to it in a minute. Okay, but I just want to get my thoughts out there. Get my thoughts out there about this. And I'm going to tell you this. I hope I'm wrong about everything. But right now, the, what we just heard, somebody's not telling the truth. Either the baby's not telling the truth or the baby is telling grandma the truth and grandma may be covering. It all depends on how they got all this in the court documents. Because when I first read this, I thought he was admitting to this. But it's nothing in there saying he's admitting to it. So whatever they got in the court documents, it had to been told to them. But by who though? Who told them this? And if this baby got scars on her wrist, I'm sure grandma should have saw that. Especially if you know it's grown men coming to get her. You had to see the scars on her wrist and knew something went right. Even if she did lie to you, you, you as a grandma know something went right when you saw that. <sighs> Leave it be, but I'm still trying to find that out. How did them other two men get caught up in this? Other than they saying that the grandma told them that. Well, they saying the family, but the grandma is the only one they've been talking though. The grandma only been talking. Is they talking about her? But for what the, the update I did yesterday, they saying the grandma told them that about the two other guys. So it's making me think now. How did you get them like that? Or are you covering? I I, I don't know. I promise you, I do not know. And I'd have searched and searched and searched to see how these two men got caught up in this crossfire. And you know the crazy thing about all this shit right here? I even looked to see these updates that I'm talking about. Nobody's talking about it but me. And I'm not trying to pat, my, pat myself on the back. I don't see it on Facebook. It's not on Instagram. It's not on anything. I'm the only one bringing this shit out. I'm not, and really, I'm not proud of it. I'm not. <sighs> I already, uh, I already played that uh, the other day. Yeah, I already got that clear. Uh, that, that's in one of my uploads right there. You got to go check out my other streams. Uh, I already talked about that. You know. Um, So guys, I, I I I don't know. So understand why I'm upset and disappointed because I I don't know. Somebody's lying, man. Somebody's lying, or they're not telling the whole truth. Let me point out something to y'all real quick. Let me bring that picture back up. Where is it at? I don't know how good y'all can see that. Let me see if I can blow this up some. And I, and I, and I, and I want to show y'all where I'm going with this too. Hey, Beaver, maybe you can make some sense to, to this better than I can. Maybe you can. So you go live, dear, and you find something out better than I can. Hey, I, 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 would, I would be there to look. I would be there to look. Okay. I'm trying to make this picture big enough so y'all can see it. All right. 
when I did my update yesterday, this was the house that they claimed that they found her at. This this the house that they claimed that they found her at. Okay, so here's what's getting me. How the hell that's an apartment? Y'all saying y'all found this girl in an apartment. Not only in an apartment, but you found her in the attic above his room. I, I never know in apartments to have attics. I could be wrong, though. I never know in apartments to have attics. Now, that may be just a small little detail over. And it may not be nothing. Probably just something that they got wrong. I don't know. But how can you say that's an apartment? They look like a house to me. And it looked like a house that probably a lot of shit be going on up in there. So I don't know how they saying this in an apartment. Then I say, you know, hey, maybe it's a rumor house. But then again, it still won't make sense. It's still a house. It's just a rumor house that they rent out rooms to other people. So maybe they're just a small little thing that they're that, that just messing up. They're saying apartment, but I guess they, 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 they probably really mean to say house. I don't know. Maybe that's something to be and maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. But we also heard that he shared his house with his folks. So now it makes me think now. Did his folks know what the fuck he was in there doing? We got to ask that question, too. Because uh, if it is the case, he ain't the only one that need to go down. That whole house need to go down. Y'all some sick fucks. Y'all. Y'all. And then y'all housing this man, lending him around. I don't know if his children even in that house. But uh shit. He's this way he did solicitate minors, and he's in a house with children. That's why I told y'all yesterday when I did the show yesterday, he gotta go. He gotta go. If y'all truly don't know about this, y'all ain't got nothing to do with that. And this man sit up here bringing minors to y'all house and do a God knows what to them. Hey, you gotta go. You gotta go. Jeff, I hope somebody can hit me out with this, bro. I'm hoping somebody can. I'm not into psychics and mediums. But if they could pull a rabbit out the hat and look through this and see what's really going on, I'll take a listen. I will. But I know one thing, somebody ain't telling somebody ain't telling the truth about this story. I don't know who part, but somebody ain't telling the truth. It's almost as if y'all purposely trying to uh hold something back so don't the situation won't look worse as it is. And so a lot of people won't be sitting up there looking at uh her, looking at the baby. And I get it, because you're trying to protect her. I get that. I get it. But in that same token, you trying to protect her. I hope you talking to her and letting her see what she's doing and how this shit is getting spun out of control. So since July the 3rd, no, something ain't right. If this been going on since July the 3rd, something ain't right. It ain't right. And the only reason he got caught, because thank God for his security guard. That's how he got caught. 
thank God for their security guard. Guys, this article says uh, new details are emerging regarding the accused predator. They allegedly, alleged. See, look, look what they're saying. Allegedly, they even saying allegedly. So I, I'm assuming they over here like. Now wait a minute. Now we come to getting misinformation. Now, so the word allegedly, they even using it here. Allegedly, took an 11 year old girl from a Missouri home. 27 year old Jose Paniagua however you say this motherfucking name, is now charged with aggravated assault of a child under 14. According to court records, according to court records, he bound the Levy Rose hand and forced himself on her seven times after the first meeting. The little girl online earlier this month, after meeting the little girl online earlier this month. So for the parents watching out there, if your kid is 13 years old or younger, no social media whatsoever, yes, says text expert Juan Torres. That's the recommendation from tech professional like Torres because it was in chatting uh, app Discord where the 11 year old victim is said to have met accused sexual predator, predator 27 year old Jose, who is actually on probation in a different county for online solicitation of a minor. Now, again, thank God for their security guard because, uh, and this is what he got in trouble for at first. He finna get ready to uh, do the same thing to this baby. She finna be in a whole world of trouble. She was. He finna do the same thing to her. And then this is another reason why I say them people in the house who are all up in that damn house, I wonder how much they knew. I wonder how much they knew. And if them son of a bitches did know about this, every last motherfucker in their house need to go down. Cause y'all some trifling son of a bitches. Every last one of them need to go down. Grab every last one of them. And the guy next door, since you got pulled in this, help the cops drag them all out their damn house. Just a whole house full of perverts. Just a whole house full of perverts. According to court records, 11 year old first thought she was talking and meeting up with a 13 year old boy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having a hard time to believe it. I'm having a hard time believing that. I really am. But hey, could be true. Could be true. But I'm having a hard time believing it. She thought she was talking to a 13 year old boy. I promise you, I'm having a hard time believing it. Anyway. Those court documents say on July the 9th, here we go, on July the 9th at uh, his Houston apartment, his Houston apartment, Levy Road was forced to have intercourse multiple times and her hands were bound with a leather belt. A sexual assault nurse quoted in court documents say Marcus was left on a child's wrist. All right. Also, according to those legal records, Jose told police he picked up the Levy Road and took her to his apartment several times beginning July the 3rd. So he told them he did this. That's how they know about that. He told them. After meeting the Road online, Jose told investigation he first thought the girl was a 22-year-old woman. Boy, if you don't stop. And you, boy, if you don't stop. When you're 13 and below, you are very trusting. You're developing a lot of street smarts, a lot of predators who are online. Know that, says Torres. That's why he says there are no friendly, no family-friendly social media sites when it comes to kids 13 and under. Yes, I agree with that. Nobody under 13 should be with any access on social media. I've been saying that for the longest, sir. I definitely agree with you. Or any communication at whatsoever. It doesn't matter what it is. The failure, of, the failure of parents not monitoring their kids' devices could be fatal. And I don't know why y'all don't understand this. And I don't know why a lot of parents don't understand this. So while y'all getting over here being all happy, talking about, yeah, my baby on TikTok, and yeah, she a TikTok princess, or he a TikTok queen, and all that stuff. You got folks like him. You got folks like him looking at your child, all right? You got folks like him looking at your baby. And seem like they damn good with getting to them. 
Because you know why? A lot of people is not monitoring what they're doing online. So it's easy for them to get to them. It's easy for them to get to them. That's why I say, if I had a child, I would be damn tough on her and him. You are not getting online unless I'm present. All right? And even when I'm present, you would not have no TikTok. You would not have no Facebook. You would not have no Instagram. And you sure in hell would not have no YouTube. I don't know which one worse. But see, I'm on YouTube a lot. So I, right now, I say YouTube is the worst. All right? If I ever, you would not have no count of anything. Anything that we're going to do online, we're going to do it together. It's going to be a family thing. You are not going to be by yourself, okay? Uh, this gaming and all the shit y'all do online, you'll be all right. If I pay 50 60 or something dollar for a game disc, you doing just fine with that game by yourself. You don't need to be online talking to nobody. Play by yourself. That's why I call solo. Solo campaign. You solo your ass in their room and sit down and play their campaign. You don't need to be online talking to nobody. And while you playing that game, I'm going to sit there and watch you play the game. Make sure you're okay. All right? Because that's what a father and a mother is supposed to do. Make sure you're all right. Now, I may pull out my debit card, buy you a little couple of downloadable contents or whatnot that you want for the game or whatnot. If you're doing your chores and doing your grades, making your grades and all that work. Yeah, I do all that. But, uh, then can I get online? I want to get online and go in the chat room. Nope. Nope. You want to chat with somebody? Come chat with me. Let's have a chat, son. Let's have a chat, daughter. Come have a chat with me. I'm all the person that you need. So just think about me being an online person with you playing a game. Come chat with me. That's all that you need. Did it goes on to say, uh, fortunately, the 11 year old was found Friday night and returned to her grandmother according to court records. She was discovered hiding uh, Jose's attic above his bedroom. Bond has not been set for him. He is expected to be in court Wednesday, which is today. Uh, detectives had a starting point on where to look for the missing little girl because her grandmother tracked the 11 year old girl's cell phone to that same apartment earlier this month. The 11 year old did not have a cell phone with her when she went missing last week. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all say she terrified? Sound like to me she didn't want to be found. And was smart enough to leave herself on home. So she won't get tracked. But again, that security guard caught him. And instantly went to her house and said, hey, I just seen that baby get in a car with a grown man. That's how he got caught. All right. So understand when I say, guys, when I read this, and when y'all hear this. Somebody's somebody gotta be lying or they hiding some stuff. All right. Somebody gotta be lying or they hiding something. And I ain't tacking this baby. I'm not. No, I actually want her to do better. I actually do want to do better. But at the same time, though, I'm not gonna sit up here and act and just gonna sit up here and pacify her and and try to make it seem like that you know you didn't have no hand in doing this, okay? Now, I could get it the first time you made a mistake and you want to get out there and this man made you feel some type of way. That that that, that first time you 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 would have got slipped past me, all right? And I found you and I brought you home. But all that uh this shit on your wrist and all that, you know, uh what happened? And I would have known you would have lying because you didn't have that before you went out. You didn't have this on your wrist earlier. So what happened? You couldn't lie to me about that. You couldn't. So, again, this story is leaving more questions than answers. It's leaving more questions than answers. 
And hopefully the whole truth will come out. Hopefully it will. But I'm going to let y'all hear this again, and I don't, I don't even know what else to say, man. I don't. I don't even know what else to say. Oops. Who took an 11-year-old girl from her home in Missouri City. Fox 26's Domily Keith has been following the story and joins us live tonight with an update. Domily. Yeah, 27-year-old Jose Paniagua is charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child under 14. According to court records, Paniagua bound the 11-year-old by the wrist and forced himself upon her several times after meeting her online earlier this month. So for the parents watching out there, if your kid is 13 years old or younger, no social media whatsoever. That's the recommendation from tech experts like Juan Guevara Torres because it was in the chatting app Discord where the 11-year-old victim is said to have met accused sexual predator, 27-year-old Jose Paniagua, who is actually on probation in a different county for online solicitation of a minor. According to court records, the 11-year-old first thought she was talking and meeting up with a 13-year-old boy. Those court documents say on July 9th at Paniagua's Houston apartment, the 11-year-old was forced to have intercourse multiple times and her hands were bound with a leather belt. Also, according to those legal records, Paniagua took the 11-year-old to his apartment several times beginning July mm. 3rd after meeting the 11-year-old online. Mm. And Paniagua told investigators he first thought the little girl was a 22-year-old woman. No, you didn't. When you're no, you 13 didn't. and below, you are very trusting and you're developing a lot of uh, the street smarts. That's why Torres says there are no family-friendly social media sites when it comes to kids 13 and under. Nobody on the 13 should be with any access on social media or any mm -hmm. communications app whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. The failure of parents not monitoring their kids' devices could be fatal. Now, fortunately, the 11-year-old was found on Friday and returned to her grandmother. According to court records, the little girl was found hiding in Paniagua's attic above his bedroom. Now, Paniagua has not had a bond set for him yet. He is expected to be in court tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News. Mike? I'm sorry, guys. I, I just don't. Okay, we all can agree. Him. Even if he did not sexual assault her, he had no business being with this little girl. So, like again, I want to say, fuck him. He need to get whatever he going to get. Even if he didn't do it, you had no business being with this 11-year-old girl at all I can't explain why this young lady kept going back I can't explain why she kept going back. But I don't think it had anything to do with her being scared, though. They're just me. Oh, God. Lord have mercy. Is this the mama? Is this the mama? So oh, this the mama. So I got I can't put that up because uh, if people start messaging me, it's gonna pop up on the screen. So last post is saying that the mom put up was on July the twenty second. Well, pretty much sure I can't see all her stuff because we're not friends. Uh, let's see. 
Look at this, she's so cute. Oh, is that is that money? Oh, is she cute? How about that? All right. So now her page has been found. <clears throat> My question is now, where is she at? Where is she at? Where's the mom? Why is she not speaking? Why is there no protesting or anything? Where, where's the mom at now? Where's the mom? Because if anything, she the main one need to be talking right now. I mean, in my opinion. In my opinion. Why is the grandma the only one doing all the talking? I think I'm gonna get my question answered right here. Everyone is so concerned with what I am doing. I have been calling and looking and crying and screaming. I was not aware of what was going on to this morning. Everyone is so sure they know what is going on that now the thought of my living role missing is an afterthought. If you aren't going to help find her, please keep your opinions to yourself. I never wish this I never wish this confused frustration or hurt on anyone. I have not spoken with anyone on social media platform. Thank you to those helping me. I appreciate all the help to find my child. Somebody said, yes, we are concerned what you're doing, and it would be unnatural to be unconcerned. Your daughter was missing twice this month. You're her mother, and sketchy information was reported twice, at the very least today. Anyone unconcerned, anyone unconcerned with what you're doing and just blindly looking anywhere, a DS pops up without a question is oblivious. We don't need more oblivious people in this world. Yes, I know she's not in here, but I got it out of my head. I'm good now. I'm going to say this about the mama right here. Royal, I'm going to agree with what you said. We all are so concerned about what you're doing. You are absolutely right. Keep our opinions to our motherfucking self. You're absolutely right, ma'am. I'm going to agree with you. But check this out, though. Check this out. I want you to hear me loud and clear, ma'am. Your daughter's been found. So where you been now since she been found? Where you at now? Since she's been found. Fuck all this talking shit on Facebook. Because yes, our opinions don't mean shit to you. And you absolutely right, ma'am. It don't mean a goddamn thing to you. But I bet you can't answer this question right here. Where you at now since she's found? Why you not over here talking? Or better yet, why you ain't over there busting that dude in his ass? Well, he locked up, so you can't do nothing to him. <clears throat> but my question to you is, where are you now since she's found? 
Where are you now? Why is the grandma still talking? Then you say you was not aware of what was going on. So you know what I'm finna say? Your daughter staying with your grand with her grandmama. So it lets, makes me believe you're not even checking on your baby. You're not even checking on your baby, see what's going on. Guys, the more I'm doing this story, the more I'm getting pissed. And maybe it's time for me to stop it. Maybe it's time for me to stop it. I'm finna start saying something that y'all probably ain't gonna like. All right? And I'm getting a lot of fucked up comments in my comment section. So I probably need to shut it down now. You got time to sit up here and tell us, mind our own business, what you got your right to do. You do. Why are you not putting in that same energy out here with your baby? Twice, ma'am. Whoa, 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 It's more than twice. This man be picking up your daughter since July the 3rd. So it's more than twice. Read all these comments. This child's mother cousin just said to me, maybe she just spoke the truth. I'm telling y'all, her mama done did something to this child and is saying any name to try to before we throw them off. Then somebody said, her mom hasn't done anything to get to get I don't know what they're saying, to get something. She went missing at grandma's house. Uh, let's see how far it's going. Let me guess another friend of the mama. <laughs> I'm her cousin. Look for her Shut or shut the fuck up. Y'all need to look for her as well. Y'all felt this baby most definitely. And it's funny the mama is sending her friends and family on this post to defend the mama. But yet the mama doesn't even seem to be worried that her child is nowhere to be found. Just like pointing fingers instant, okay, by others. But didn't y'all do that to not one but two innocent guys? Ooh. 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 I live in an entire different city. You are strange. My cousin has no idea I see this post, weirdo. It was linked to the post I shared on my daughter's page. And the first thing that come up is your YouTube, is your YT, Holly, what the fuck? Is your YT holier than, holier than thou comments. You didn't even have the story originally. You really don't care. You just want something to talk about. Okay, then the person come back and said, but yet the mother's friend, Fifth Ward Kia, whoever that is, came over here saying that the girl don't stay with her mama. She stay with her grandma. So what is it? Either she do or don't. Y'all story is not adding up. These people on Facebook saying the same thing. Y'all story not adding up. Uh, I guess this the cousin come back said you don't you don't if you felt bad for her this would be the last thing your racist hey God Jesus Christ this this be the last thing your racist I guess probably racist ass would be doing talking about people laying up having babies and her and her murdering her child. You pull horrible lies in the atmosphere. You just as sick as the abductors. And worse than anyone you spread the lies about. God have mercy on your soul. The person came back and said, I never said that. I never said that. Show me where I said that, your statement. Show me now. Okay. 
Then they came back and said, God have mercy on y'all soul because y'all all know more than what y'all saying. Who just said that? Did, did I just say that? I could have sworn I just said that. That the story ain't adding up. And there's more to this story than what's supposed to be saying. I, I just said that. I just said that. God have mercy on y'all so for y'all know more than what y'all are saying. The law, the law said this was an abduction and she's in grave danger. Now the family saying she's a runaway. What is it? And the cousin came back saying, you so slow. You don't even realize the security guard is the one who saw her get taken by the guy. Excuse me, getting taken by the gray truck from the grandma's house. You so slow that before you posted your comments, you didn't even know she was with the grandma. Your life sucks so bad that you are here saying we. Your life sucks so bad that you're here saying we know something and I don't even live where she lives. You're real strange. You don't care. You're just bored. No share. No share the post minus your opinions and shut the fuck up. Fifth War came in. Uh, if you see, I clearly said the little girl stays with her grandma, not with her mother. Oh, they talked to this person right here. Uh, yeah, I see that, but the mother cousin came in here saying that the little girl. Well, her mother's cousin. Wait a minute now. What the hell? Yeah, I see that, but the mother's cousin came in here saying that the little girl stayed with her mama and was only visiting the grandma. And you said the opposite. So I was showing the cousin what the mother's friend and family is coming and saying on this thread. They come back and say, oh, okay, but no, and money stays with her grandma. She only go visits her mama. She only go visit her mama. Her mother have spoke on the situation already. She's looking for her daughter. Uh, they come back and say, well, her mother's cousin is a liar and crazy. Then cause she just said some things that got me thinking my thoughts. Um, this person come back and say, well, I don't know what to say on that, but I know she's looking for her daughter. Somebody named Ty came and said, she's a runaway and now probably linked up with some dude. Scars on her wrist always said she needed some mental health counseling and family attention. Man, man, and it's more. I'm going to stop right there, man. I'm going to stop right there. So, again, the public is speaking. I'm speaking. Whoever is talking about this story, they are speaking. And everybody feel the same damn way, man. Something is going on with this story, and somebody or somebody's are lying, Okay? Not necessarily putting all the blame on this baby. But, however, with all this shenanigans or whatever the hell is going on surrounding by this baby, it sounds like she's in a toxic environment and she needs counseling real bad. She needs some kind of help, all right? Or this going to end up worse. What's going to end up happening, she's going to keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. This man may have been caught, all right? But y'all don't get her in check and get her the help that she needs. It's going to be somebody worse than him, and she's not going to come back at all. And I know y'all don't want to hear that, but that that's real shit. She's not going to come back at all, all right? So while the mom and the cousin sitting there arguing with everybody on Facebook, now that she's found, where are y'all at now? Why y'all not at grandma's house right now? Talking to this child, getting us some help, talking to grandmama, and asking grandma what's really going on. Because... Y'all, you saying one thing, but the news is putting out something seem like totally different. They putting out something totally different. And Royal, you her mom. If her grandma cannot handle her right now, you need to go get your baby. You need to raise your baby. Because here's the thing. Grandma already been here and done that. She should be able to live her life. She's already been here and done that. She really don't need to be taking care of nobody else's child, you ask me. But I know that's how it goes sometimes. No, grandma and grandparents take in people's children when the parents are having a little trouble or whatnot. So I don't know what your situation is. 
but apparently your grandmama cannot handle this right now because she keep getting away from grandma. But the grandma still try to hang on, and I commend her for that. She still try to hang on. But are you seeing the grandma struggling trying to take care of your baby? Go get your baby and raise your baby. Dead ass. And I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm dead ass. It appears your grandma cannot handle her right now because this girl going through some emotional trauma or probably even abuse, emotional abuse. I don't know the way you talking over here. I can imagine how you talk to this baby when you get mad at her. When you, when you get mad at her, I can imagine how you talk to her. I can imagine. So she got all that going on. Then it's perfectly understandable why she's doing what she's doing. Because she has no love within the family. Allegedly. 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 So guys, again, and that picture y'all see behind me, I did it earlier today because when Sandy sent me this, that's how I was feeling. My head, my big head, bald head, head was just going all over the place. So that picture right there, just an expression of how I feel about this story. All right. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to leave with this right here. I pray and I hope this story gets together and the real truth come out of what really happened. Okay. My main thing I hope I pray for is that this baby get helped. And if she is in a toxic environment, somebody need to come and get her out that toxic environment. And put it in a place where she's getting the actual love. Not saying grandma ain't doing it, but I do feel like for how things going, it's probably too much to handle for grandma right now. It's too much. And then on top of that, his baby dad gone. So she dealing with a lot of shit. And I'm not gonna negate that that she's not. She's dealing with a lot of stuff right now. But see, here's my thing about the dad being gone though. I did my research. The dad been gone since she was five months. She lost her dad in five months. Doesn't mean she doesn't mean they're not gonna have a toll on her still if she's eleven years old. But they say she lost her dad in five months, so she was still a baby baby when her dad passed away. So grandma, I'm gonna say this to you again. I'm still rooting for you. Did you get this baby on track? I'm rooting for you, okay? And Miss Royale, the mom, hey, I'm back down. You see this and you got something you want to say, hey, I open this platform and let you do all the talking that you want to talk. And hey, maybe I got it wrong. Just maybe I got it wrong. You or your cousin, all y'all sitting there talking shit, calling people racist and all that because they telling y'all what's right. They telling y'all what's right. Because I'll be saying the same thing and I'm black. I'll say the same thing. But I ever though, you see this? Somebody send this to you? Hey, you come over here and talk. I'll let you have the flow. I promise I would. I promise I would. And you can prove to me I got it wrong. Hey, my bad. My bad. But even you said yourself, you was unaware of what was going on. So it made me think that you don't even check on your child.
I don't know, Santa. It's one of them situations that uh, I guess the person who was talking to them in that thread, and the reason I didn't show y'all because, like I said, it's showing everything. So if somebody wants to message me or whatnot, it'll come across that screen. Y'all know y'all need to see all that. But uh, apparently uh, somebody white was talking to the mom and the cousin and just telling them straight up, you know, I mean, we going off what's being put out there. We going off uh, how the mom behavior is. We going off uh, what the cousin is saying. And I guess they saying what the cousin is saying is it's not making any sense that it's not adding up. But see, if anybody following this story, you don't need the cousin or the mama to say that. You can hear it for yourself that something ain't adding up. You can hear it yourself. But I say this though, better her than me because if money was my daughter, she finna get grilled. You gonna tell me everything? Or you gonna tell me the damn truth? Ain't no hiding nothing. You gonna tell me the damn truth? How long you been leaving with this man? What this man exactly has done? And you gonna tell me why you continue to keep leaving with him? If he did all this, you gonna tell me every damn thing? Because that's where we gotta start at first. You got to start with the truth. Then we got to follow the uh, code of conduct to fix and rectify that so me and you could be on the same page and that this don't happen again. I know I'll be a damn good father. I'll probably be strict too, but I'll be a damn good dad. That's my sister. I did her dad a job. It was forced on me. But I did her dad a job. But you're going to tell me everything. And I'm leaving y'all with this too. And this is another thing why I'm sad about this story because it does remind me of my sister. When she was 15 and 16 years old, she had my phone. I'll never forget this. She had my phone. And I didn't monitor her what she was doing on my phone. That was my fault. When I got my phone back, something told me, Check your phone and see what she be doing on your phone. She didn't delete the text messages. And I saw what she was saying to another dude. And stuff I wasn't ready to hear her say. What she was saying to that dude. I wasn't ready to see that from my sister. At all. Matter of fact, I don't want to see that from my sister at all. But at that age, I did not want to see that. And I saw it. And I said, wow. I said, it's that time. It's that time. You know what I did? I said, hey, come here. Let me hold you for a minute. And I showed her everything. I said, where you get off talking like this at? What the hell you been doing? She started explaining. I said, the way you talking, it sounded like you and this dude done done something already. No, 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 we didn't, no, we didn't. I said, I mean, if anybody wants to see this, if I show anybody what you're saying right here, it sounds like y'all been doing something already. No, we ain't did no, we ain't did no. I said, uh-huh, I'll take your word for it. But you show talking like you grown in this conversation. I'm your brother. I'm not your dad. I'm your brother. But however, though, I'm going to talk to you as if I'm your dad. Ain't none of this shit going on. And it's better not be no grown-ass man. She like, no, because uh, she said the dude was already saying, uh, 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 you texting me for your brother phone? No, don't be doing that, man, because I don't want him to come find me and whoop my ass. Yeah, you said the right thing. You said the right thing. If you was a grown-ass man, you said the right thing. But I think it did find out they was about the same age range, so that was a good thing. But still, though, seeing a 15, 16-year-old female talking the way she was talking to that, to that young man, mm-mm. Mm-mm. But looking for me, she trusted me enough to tell me everything, and she did. I said, you know what? <clears throat> I can't do nothing when you get up in age. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. 
But long as I'm around and you using my phone or whatever the hell you doing, I ain't nothing. This shit finna go on, man. So you cut this shit out right now. As a matter of fact, you tell that dude stop texting his phone. You don't text him no more from my phone. Now you get your own phone. I can't monitor you everything what you're doing. That'd be my mama job when you're over there with her. And I hope she's watching you what you're doing on your phone. But I know I don't need to see this shit again. And if I get on the show, she'll tell y'all that. She'll tell y'all that happened. That actually happened. All right? Anyway, guys, uh, let me get on out of here. And um, we just see how this how this going to play out. You know, maybe tomorrow we'll come out and talk and surprise all of us. Well, for right now, we just all thing we do is just sit back and see how it's gonna play out for now. All right, I will be live again later because uh, Michael Vaughn, um, they have released a full interview with the mom and the dad. I'll be back later to uh, let y'all hear that and see what's going on with that story. All right, but until then, guys, y'all be safe out there and uh, y'all please keep your children safe, please. All right, I'm out. Peace.